In this video, we'll walk through how to set up the PlumSale documents and Zapier integration, so you can connect PlumSale documents to all the apps you use every day. First, you will need to create a Zapier account if you don't have one at zapier.com. Now, when you've got access and are ready to create Zaps, let's explore a structure of a Zap. A Zap is an automated workflow that connects your apps and services together. Every Zap is made up of triggers and actions. A trigger is what prompts your workflow to start. Every app in the Zapier marketplace has its own selection of triggers. If you're going to use PlumSale Documents trigger options, you'll be using the completion of the document generation process. And action is the result of your trigger. If you're using PlumSale Documents for the actions, you can choose Start Document Generation Process. Let's get familiar with the Start Process action. For demonstration purposes, we set up a Zap to start on the form submission. Click on Plus to add an action. Search for Plum Sale Documents. Select the Start Process action and press Continue. If this is your first Zap, at this point, You'll need to sign into your PlumSale account from Zapier to establish a connection between the app and your account. We already have a PlumSale account tied to the app, so we just select it from the dropdown. The next step is to set up the action. Select the process you want to start with this Zap from the dropdown. Zapier will pull tokens from the document template and create fields to complete. We'll map the trigger output with these fields. Our template includes simple tokens for name and phone, and nested tokens with a dot operator for a collection of products. This is how they appeared in Zapier. Fields with the same names as tokens. The object for the collection of products is outlined. This points out to line items, a group of similar things, with information about each of them. We're using the trigger output to pass form data to our template. As you may guess from the trigger outputs, our form contains the corresponding fields for name and phone number and a data table for a collection of products. The last thing to do is to test our action. The test run was successful. Great! You can see that the output is a generated file. You can use it further in the Zapier workflow. For example, upload it to the cloud. Then we are done and turning on our Zap. This is how the resulting document will look like when somebody submits our form. To learn more about Zapier and PlumSale documents, check out these resources.